Hey guys, it's Omewrecker, and I'm playing FTL yet again. Seems to be the number one request on my channel as of late. Not that I mind it, this is a great game. If you haven't bought it, definitely do. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and abandon my last game. And you can see here I have all the ships now. I just got that Crystal Cruiser, I made a video on it uh, that was kind of like a follow-up to my ship unlock guide. You can see I've got them all though. Um, I'm going to be playing the Crystal Cruiser. And I only have uh, variant A here so far. So let's go ahead and rename it because I keep forgetting to do that lately. So this is going to be the Ohm Wrecker. And I've got four crew. So uh, let's see. Let's, uh, how about we name some of these guys? Oh no, I lost my mouse cursor. Oh, it's back. <laughs> All right, let's try to name this again. Um, let's name it after some of my commenters. There we go. Notch. Oh, I'm gonna leave Notch. He's the guy who made Minecraft. Nick Brecken. I'm pretty sure he's a writer for another outlet, but he's going to become Mr. Stefan. G J and let's do one more. Oh, that name got cut off. Kinda sucks that there's a cutoff on the names. We got hot bagels. Yeah, that's why I wasn't able to use Ohm Wrecker, because it got cut off. So I did Ohm. That's why you'll find an Ohm in the game sometimes. Alright, so uh here's the deal, right? Um this ship you start off with two humans, two crystals. And it has a Crystal Burst Mark 1. This thing fires two shots. Look at that cooldown, though. It's got a really long cooldown. And also notice it breaches one shield. That's what's unique about these Crystal weapons. Then it also has a Heavy Crystal Mark 1. And this just fires one shot, but it can do up to two damage per shot. Um, the augmentation that the ship comes with is called Crystal Vengeance. And every time your ship takes damage, there's a 10% chance to break off a shard that flies at your enemy. So it's almost like getting a free shot off at the enemy if you take damage. But there's only a 10% chance. Um, Alright, so I think I'm going to start this time on normal since I've got everything unlocked. And uh, I've had some people who have bitched a little bit about uh, going on easy. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started on normal. Get our weapons powered up. Divert or you want to shut down that med bay right away pop it into your engine so you get that increased dodge chance and Then you want to distribute your crew So I think I'm gonna keep my other human back in the engine room so he can be Babysat a little bit just in case things get a little bit frantic and Let's go ahead and start exploring. So I'm not going to the store It's way too early for that Alright, first encounter, a unmanned scout. Okay. Well, he's got two beam weapons, I can see that. So, um, well, you know, I don't have to worry about this shield. So I'm going to go uh, first for his uh, pilot room there. That way he has no more dodge chance. I want to do that because the uh, cooldown on these things is so long. Anytime you miss, it's really going to cost you. So now all of my weapons are going to hit every time. And he'll be dead in after this wave, actually. And that's it. Alright, got my scrap, got a little bit of fuel. We're gonna continue on past that store. Another rebel ship. Okay, so I can see he's got a beam. Um, oh, damn, he's got a drone. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing. As long as... Um, this doesn't punch through. Oh no. Okay, so, okay, we got two fires. That's great. Um, are these guys immune to fire? Oh, I don't even have to worry about it. I got doors right there and here. All right, first weapons off. Done. There we go. And he's as good as dead. There's nothing he he can do to come back. That fire freaked me out for a second, I don't know why. <laughs> Alright. And he's down. 
Oh, nice. I've got the whole thing mapped out now, so I see a distress all the way down there. Okay, quarantine, quarantine. Alright, uh, that was a useless sector. Keep on moving. Uh, oh man, um, this guy has a special shield, so I'm not sure if I want to fight him right now. My cooldowns are too long. Um, I'm going to skip this battle for now. Just because I really don't want to get hammered. And that looks like a burst laser there. Right, he's offering me a bribe. He's got uh, two heavy lasers here. Well, you know what? I don't think this is enough for me, so I'm going to go ahead and attack him. So we're going to do the same thing I've been doing and pop his uh, pilot room and then the weapons bay. That's all right, two damage, I can take that. There we go, no more dodging. Actually, I'm gonna keep the cycle on these two so that they stay down no matter what they do. If they repair it, that's fine. Just gonna get taken out again right away. Alright, so he bumped up his offer to six missiles, two drone, nine scrap. Nope, not good enough for me. And one more wave, or actually one more hit, he's down. This heavy crystal's gonna do it. Twenty scrap. Um, ship under attack was a rebel scout. Use leverage you gain by saving their lives to convince them to delay the pursuing fleet. Uh, you know what? I don't need the delay right now, I don't think. I'm just going to destroy it and salvage it. Oh, come on. That's all I got? Damn. Alright, well, I'm heading for that distress sector. Yes, I'm going to aid the Federation ship. You pretty much have to do everything. Every encounter you, inc you get in uh, the first sector, you should really go for. The one exception, obviously, for me was that Zoltan ship. I just didn't want to risk it with these really long cooldown weapons. And these weapons are actually probably going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt later. Because once they start getting two shields, it's going to be a bit more difficult to deal with. Uh, he repaired his pilot room really quick. I'm wondering if he has a system repair drone in there. Quickly try to rescue the crew. Soul Survivor offers a join and helps you strip the derelict ship of useful components. Oh, nice. I got a little mantis guy here. Well, I'm going to keep him in the weapons... Actually, right outside of the weapons room. Just in case he needs backup. Alright, let's go for distress and then we're going to have to start heading up. Oh boy. Um, this is one of those ones where if you have a rock crew member, you can usually get like a sure victory out of this one or success rate. But... In this case, it's really risky. You can lose a cruise member or crew member. I'm gonna go ahead and dock. Damn. I got a little bit of scrap, but nothing else. Took some damage. Probably wasn't worth it. Faint life signatures. Okay, this one. Come on, please. Oh, nice! Another crew member! Great! I got a really good crew going here. So I think I could jump here and then over. At least I hope so. They want a toll, yeah right. He's only got one laser too.
Oh, this is gonna be pretty easy. See, that miss. Another miss. Those will really cost you with this ship and these cooldowns. I mean, you can increase or improve the cooldowns a little bit by getting some experience on your guy, but... Man, that thing hurts. Alright, um, let's see. Try and decide what I want to upgrade first going forward. Five fuel, eight missiles, ten scrap. Actually, that's a really valuable offer at this point. Because those eight missiles, I mean, that's worth a lot of scrap. So I'm going to go ahead and accept. With the hope that I will get some sort of missile weapon sometime soon. There we go, more missiles. Uh, so, you know what, let's go check out the next sector. Uh, which one do I want to do? I'm going to go for the Mantis sector. Although the bad thing about Mantis sectors is they tend to have a lot of boarding events. <laughs> I guess I'm pretty uh, prepared for it though. Alright, these guys are looking for help. They want fuel. I always do this and they usually give me enough of a reward to make it worth it. As you saw there, I got enough scrap to get more fuel, so... Oh, damn it. At least he doesn't have any shields, so... Come on, please. Asteroid, take out one of his things. Okay, here's a trick, guys. When you've got an ion incoming, if you don't want it to hit your shield... To disable it, power off your shield temporarily, let it hit your ship, and then go ahead and turn on your shield again. Oh, no, I forgot to turn it off again. Oh, come on. Sweet revenge. Oh, nice, I got uh, one of the achievements for this ship. I got hit by something, a shard broke off and blew him up. Damn him. He just disabled my shield again. Alright, so I got extra crew. Let's go get them familiar with repairing. Come on. There we go. Shield's back up. Where's the med bay? Oh, it's all the way down there. Duh. And this crystal guy is not repairing all that well. Okay. Uh, well, I, I was hoping to find a store. I've got a lot of scrap saved. Oh, and I can't upgrade my ship here. Pristine Scout. He's got a missile launcher and a ion weapon. I'm going to attempt to download. Nope. Damn. Alright, as long as that missile doesn't hit, we're fine. And I don't have to worry about disabling my ion. Okay, that was one damage. Or disabling my shield. Since he's got nothing that I... I can block with my shield, it's not really a big deal. I actually gotta go heal up Notch. We don't want Notch to die, then he can't make any more Minecraft updates. And Hot Bagel, he's hurting a little bit too. Oh man. Um, Oh yes, a store. Awesome. Just what I needed. Okay, this is good. Uh, we got some beams here. Hull Smasher. Um, man, and you know that cooldown, that's actually in line with my other weapons. But it's extremely expensive and it would take me quite some time to be able to upgrade to 3 power. So I think I'm going to do the burst. Alright, so we got burst. Um, oh, cloaking! That could be really nice 
with this ship. But then I can't afford to do upgrades. <sighs> Man, this is a tough call. Um, and I, a teleporter could be nice too. I mean, all of these things could be nice. I think I'm going to hold off on the cloaking device. I think I'll find it again. It's probably too early to go grab it. I'm going to go ahead and get some repairs. Stock up on fuel. Yeah, I'll just repair all the way. And I could still get the teleporter if I want. No, that's alright. I'm going to save it. Oh, man. Um... Well, I'm going to have to sacrifice one of my engines to power all three weapons here. But I think it'll be worth it. So we got to keep moving. Okay, I see a beam and a laser weapon. So this time I'm going to focus his shield, knock that thing out. Go for his weapons, and with the burst, take out his captain's chair there. Then I'm going to rotate. Nope, no surrender. There's rarely a, a benefit to letting them surrender, unless they're offering you like a lot of missiles or drones if you're relying on those things. Just because they're so expensive. Usually it's just better to take them out. Oh, man. Well, he's got a bomb. A little bit nervous about this one. I think I'm going to go all in on his weapons. And see if we can take out his shield too. Nope. Alright, I gotta get these, or at least one of these guys to repair. Might as well get the Mantis ready for repairs too. Damn it. Yeah, definitely always pause a lot. That's the other suggestion I have early in the game. Never ever hurts to take your time and just plan out what you're going to do in response to the enemy. Oh, this is a pretty good deal. Six fuel for 12 scrap. I'll go ahead and do that. And of course another store, but I don't have time for it. I'm going to keep moving. Plus I don't have much scrap. It's a mantis pod. Well, this can go one of two ways. He either comes out and kills you, or he joins you. I'm going to go ahead and press my luck. Oh, nice! <laughs> I've got, like, a pretty much full crew here. Early game. Wow, this is nice. Alright, so this is going to be my... defense party. Let's see, I could jump here, here, here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Small rebel ship, it's been refitted for transport. Well, I'm going to demand surrender. And they don't want to fight. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to fight. I'm going to save this burst laser until I get their stuff taken out. Damn it, beam. Alright. Okay. Go for his engines. We're not going to let him get away. Actually, let's go for Captain room there. Okay. And he's down. Needless to say, this is a pretty powerful configuration. Early game. 
Late game, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to utilize. Because then you're entirely reliant on being able to get down the enemy ships to one shield bubble. Military goods. Well, I'm definitely attacking him. I really want a second shield bubble, though. Because all these lasers are starting to worry me a bit. Damn. Door control. Okay, uh, I'm going to... Oh man, this is difficult. Okay, there we go. Alright, all the systems are down. So whichever uh, weapon fires next is going to kill him. Okay, we're getting there. Still not ready for that shield bubble though. Zoltan homeworlds are Zoltan controlled. Well, these aren't the sectors I wanted to encounter right now. I think I'm just going to go Zoltan controlled. Uh, so we have a distress signal already. Okay, uh... Well, no big deal if he hits my shield there. Wow, that thing is firing fast. Come on. Okay. We're good. Oh, no we're not. He still got his missiles up. Damn it. Come on, come on. There we go. He's down. Alright, let's head to this distress. Oh, you know, I'm worried about the shape of the sector. And another one, damn it. Alright, well, we didn't do well the last time, but I'm gonna try one more time. Was not worth it. Oh, crap. Am I gonna be able to get out of this? I don't think so. This is why I was saying I was worried about the shape. Oh, man, the rebels might hit me. Please, please, please don't make me fight the rebels. Alright, we're gonna upgrade just in case. Because there's really no way I can see it to jump across. And once in a while you'll find sectors like this. It's a total pain in the ass. Oh my god! I'm so lucky. This weapon is honestly never worth it in my opinion. It takes way too much power. Okay, so... Gonna go ahead and repair a little bit and... Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Start heading towards that exit. Okay, so Rock Cruiser. He's got a ion weapon and a laser. Uh, oh, and notice, two bubbles already. So I want to synchronize my attacks. We're gonna go for his... Uh, shields actually There we go Do one more volley Damn That didn't even do it Okay Now I'm gonna start taking out his weapons And he's got a shield up already Come on I'm just gonna focus this thing down if that's how he wants to play. Three fuel? No, that's not nearly enough. I really don't like the shape of this sector. Come on. Are you serious? This better be the right point. Oh man, look at all those weapons. What I would do for an engine upgrade right now. Come on, give me a dodge. Oh, this guy's going over here. Whew. 
Man. Oh, we got our weapons guy upgraded already. I mean, shorter cooldowns. And I do want to repair any crew that are hurt right now. Alright, Notch is healed up. Man, look at this. I can't even get away from these rebels. Oh, great. Alright, um... Well, I'm just gonna have to go all in. Take down that super shield he's got. No use waiting. Okay, now he's in a position where I can start punching through. I'm gonna wait for everything to come up. I'm gonna use my standard laser to punch at shield. And then hopefully puncture through. Come on, go, go, go! There we go. Okay. We're gonna have to do that all over again. Okay. Now he's in trouble. Ah, oh, man, these rebels right on me. I think I want to do some ship upgrades cuz these having a higher dodge is always good. I mean, it's Unbelievably valuable at times. Right there we go from 20 to 25. So instead of 1 in 5 shots being dodged, it's 1 in 4. Hull repair. Oh, that's a drone. You know, I don't care as much about drones. Happy to receive you as I give you a formal tour of the ship. You spy some local star charts and mentally log the details. Are you serious? I've never seen that one before. Not that it helps me much at this point. Zoltan's science ship request permission to dock. I haven't seen this one either. I'll go ahead and dock. I've been studying relationships between species and have determined that the Federation still has... Potential to be a net positive for the galaxy. Please accept this gift to aid your journey. Well, that's not all that good of a gift, but I'll take it. Because I didn't have to fight anything. And I think I've got time for two jumps, so I'm going down to this planet. Military vessels. Yep, I did have time for two. That was another sector I've never seen before. And I'm going to buy more fuel, definitely. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go for yet another engine upgrade here. We'll go from 25 to 30. And as these guys, as my pilot and my engineer guy, Notch there, gets leveled up, um, that evade chance will increase. Of course, we find a store right away. Well, I'm going to just start jumping across. There's a lot of points to visit. So I'm going to start by going down and then across. Nice. Free scrap. Okay, rock fighter. Whoa, look at all those weapons. My god. Well, good thing we have evasion. Okay, good. The missile missed. So, what do I want to do? Uh, well, I want to start punching through a shield, so... Oh, come on! Another miss. That's why evasion is so good, guys. Come on, come on. There we go. 
Uh, is it going to be worth it? Well, he resisted the damage, but I did get rid of his uh, bomb and his missile. So now i got to figure out what I want to do next here. I'm going to send that crystal first. Nope. Come on, come on. All those bombs back up. Okay. Now we can start focusing his weapons. Take those offline. Oh man, FTL Jammer, Missiles 2, Drone... Ah, uh, this is actually a pretty good offer. I could always scrap that augment. And we've got a store we could potentially sell to. Actually, two. Um, I'm gonna jump across and then go up. On this one. Okay, wow, a third store. I can't remember the last time I found three stores in a sector. And I still can't find myself. I swear to God, I've played this game so many times and I can't find myself in a game. I have like so many people that are sending me, uh, you know, messages and screenshots saying, hey, I found you in the game. I can't find myself though. Wow, look at this, rep uh, the sell value on this. Yeah, selling that. Get myself repaired up. And now I gotta think, do I want to get one of these? Two shots to deal one damage. Oh man, it's so tempting. But so expensive. To get the the extra two uh, for that weapon, let's see how much it would cost. Wow. Yeah, um, I don't think it's worth it for me to get another weapon just yet. Hopefully I'll find one. But with this much scrap, I could feed a, another shield bubble there. Which I think I'll do. If I'm facing somebody that's got a lot of weapons that are hitting shields, that'll help out a lot. And I didn't even take into account that there's that store there, damn it. Well, no use going in into it at this point. Okay, I see a missile and a laser. I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. Notch is almost leveled up, so it was, so it was uh, my pilot there, so I'll start getting more evasion out of that. Oh man, that's a heavy missile. Please dodge. Nope. We're gonna get everybody in there to deal with this. Uh, you know, this is actually going to be a tougher ship to deal with. Okay, good. Let's see if I can take out... Nope. Alright, so he's gone. The good thing about Rebels is that if you can take out weapons, it takes them so long to repair that you usually don't have to worry about them again. Okay. Shields are out. Come on. There we go. And it wasn't even worth it. That was such a low amount of scrap. I can't even get a power bar out of it. Okay, so I'm going to move my guys around and get my shields engineer healed up. Let's see what else we can jump to. Well, there's a distress beacon, but it looks dangerous. I'm just going to start hopping up towards a exit there. Slaver. Nope. And this is one of those instances where I do want to get that third bubble up. 
even though he's not healed up yet. Okay, we're going for those shields. Down. And I really don't have to worry about his weapons much. Alright, I'll take another crew. Mullet. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do I want to do now? Well, I think I'm going to get myself all the way up to that distress beacon. Automated scout. I'm going to take scrap. Check out the distress call, then move forward. Although I'm getting a little bit worried because we're going to start seeing the three shield ships soon. Small orbiting station. I'll try to destroy it. Oh, nice. Okay. We got some scrap out of it. Can get that extra bubble. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and get out of the sector. Maybe even find the Rack Homeworlds. I'd like to be able to visit the unknown sector again in this ship. Wait, 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 wait. Can I get back and forth? Eh, it's not worth it. Well, we can go to the Mantis Homeworlds or Slug Controlled. Um, I think I'm gonna do Slug. And in these sectors, you can usually explore more points, but it's a little bit more dangerous. Okay, here's what I was talking about, the three shield ships. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult to deal with. Come on, come on. There we go. And uh, it's probably worth it to use this right now. Okay, good. So we know he's definitely got breaches in there. I am worried about that missile though. That is a huge missile launcher. And it's gonna hit. Come on, no! Oh my god, my captain. Okay, we're going for weapons. And that still didn't do it. Please do not kill my captain. Damn it. Go. We accept what is in our stores for exchange for our lives. I guess. Let me see what you got. Uh, not really worth it. Okay, who else do we have to repair here? Or heal up? I think this guy never finished either. Yeah, let's get everybody healed. Captain ASW323. He is right about to level up. And this is one of my backup guys. Surprisingly, I haven't been boarded yet. Well, you know, I think I've got a few more jumps. Question is, do I want to risk it? I think I do. Find a ship without slugs, slug marking stranded all the way out here. A movement to provide assistance when you see a pirate insignia on the hull, you quickly reconsider. Well, what does he have? He's got a missile launcher, three shields, Heavy laser and a laser. This is actually a big part of trying to pick your battles in the late game is scoping out what they have because you can always see it. Um, also notice he has a teleporter. So that means I would probably have to deal with being boarded. But I've got enough crew to deal with that. Um, I think I can handle this. So I'm going to go ahead and attack. Just 
got to figure out where they're going to board me. I'll send these guys out to investigate. Oh, they're over here. Yep, they're attacking the oxygen. That's one way to tell what's being attacked, as you can see a little fist. And of course, they would go for oxygen first. Sneaky bastards. Okay, that was a really good hit on his shields. Now, melee-wise... Oh, he just backed off. Good. Although I want to spread these guys out in case a missile hits. Okay, good. Missed. Give me one more on that shield. Okay. And uh, now we're going to start going for his weapons. And his damn weapons are still up. And he's already repairing his shields. Hmm. Missed, of course. No. No. Not my shields. Oh, and I totally t missed the opportunity to... Come on. Now he's trying to get away. Uh, why has this guy got to be such a pain in the ass? Well, he wants to surrender, but I don't like this offer, especially this late in the game. Alright, he's down. Okay, I'm going to send everybody who's hurt to the med bay. And get these humans that are full health in there to repair that breach. You can see I took a lot of damage dealing with this ship. These guys were able to repair without losing any health, so that's good. Get my captain back in his room. Oh, this guy needs to get healed up too. I haven't been able to use my lockdown ability yet. Which keeps intruders out or in, whichever you prefer. Okay, so let's get our evasion back up. We're at 34% with level ups. I'm going to the store this time. I need to heal badly. Or repair. Still haven't found myself. Come on. Don't have anything to sell, um, but I do want some fuel. Last thing you do, or you want to do, is run out of fuel in this game. And I guess we'll just keep on moving then. Uh, you know what, since I'm here, just do those last two repairs. And we'll see what we can find. Alright, he's got a cloaking device. And I think that's one of those fast firing ions. Yep, <laughs> look at how fast that's firing. Come on, give me a dodge. No, I'm down to one and I think his beam is going to cut through. Okay, we're going to fire everything at once. Oh my god, he's got my shields out! No! That hurt so bad. <sighs> Come on. Okay. 
Okay, this time we're going for his weapons. There we go. Okay, I've got his cloak down. Got his weapon down again. Oh! Wait, what? Alright, they're off in what's in their stores. They're not telling me what. I guess I'll try this one more time. Still not worth it. Next time, they're dead. I can't be getting low amounts of scrap at this point in the game. Alright, let's keep moving. Patch up some of that damage. Okay, I've seen this before. I'm going to ask if they want payment. 10 damage for 50. No! Absolutely not. Wearing radiation coming from your medical unit. Perhaps you should take a look. Oh man, they're invading me. Alright, where are you guys? Oh, really? You know what? I'm not having that. Well, I think I can deal with this, but he does have a couple beams, and I have to be really careful about losing those shields. So, um... We're gonna go and hit there, and then switch to weapons. Of course, I miss. Okay, I think I'm good. We're gonna go for his captain's room there. Really need to get rid of the evasion that he's got. Okay. You just really need to be strategic with your hits. That's really what's important here. Late game, I mean, the way you use your weapons and you time everything is key in defeating not just the, the regular ships, but also the uh, boss as well. But look at this, Pegasus missile. That's worth a ton. If I was two missiles, but... Man, that's going to be so expensive to add to my ship. <sighs> well, this is getting tough because... Um, Wow, really? I would need 265 scrap to get that missile working. And that's without the power bars, too. Plus 90, wow. That's insane. Uh, I might have to sell that thing off. So I'm going to explore a little bit more, head down into the store, and then start jumping across. I would like a bomb, like a small bomb. A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding. I'm going to attempt to follow and help them. Come on board, what? GM Fox. Or Fox, I don't know. How do you say that? Uh, well, do I want to get rid of one of my guys? I think it might be worth it, actually. Mullet, you know, I'm not too attached to mullet right now. There we go. And, uh, let's see. I'm gonna send this guy. He's gonna be like the med bay attendant. Keep everyone healed up. Okay, nothing here. Let's check out this shop. Uh, how much can I sell this Pegasus for? 40? Well, that would buy me a cloaking device.
Or a teleporter. That could help a lot. It really could. Ugh. Man, I hate this. Um, I'm still gonna wait. I feel like it's not the time to do anything like that. Alright, sensors. Uh, well, we don't know what's in this, but looking at his weaponry, I don't see any lasers. Or missiles, but holy crap, I missed one laser. <laughs> he has got a lot of stuff, so we're going all in on that. Hey guys, that was part one of my Crystal Ship playthrough. You do not want to miss part two, trust me. Uh, it ends with a bang, I'll just say that much. I'll link part two in the description, but in the meantime, please be sure to like favorite, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel and share my video with them as well. Always appreciate when you guys do that. Stay tuned for more videos, including part two. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Oh my god, he's got my shields out. No!